Hello, my name is Anthony Greer and I work at the United States Space and Rocket Center. What we have back here is known as the MAT, or it's the Multiple Axis Trainer. And what it does is it simulates the experience of disorientation you might experience if your capsule was to go into a tumble spin in space. Now what's really, really super interesting about this is that you may think that you may get nauseous because it spins so quickly, but what's really cool is that it keeps your stomach at the center of gravity so you don't get nauseous. Also, you may be thinking, if I'm not gonna get nauseous, am I gonna get dizzy? Well, what's really cool is that the rings never spin twice in the same direction, so it reduces the shift of inner ear fluid going on, so it reduces the likelihood that you'll also get dizzy. Um, something like this was used to train the early American astronauts, uh, including Neil Armstrong, in one of his missions in space, uh, Gemini 8. He actually went into a tumble spin, but thanks to his training on a machine very similar to that, he was able to rescue and uh, return his capsule to Earth. So I knew I had to go on that ride from the first moment I saw it, and it was awesome. And I want to beat my friend's record of uh, four times, so I've been uh, two times already, and I'm, I'm waiting for my turn to go again. <laughs> okay, well, uh, the basic mission of Aviation Challenge, it was created in 1990. It was to complement the space camp. The reason that they created Aviation Challenge was you had those kids who wanted to become the shuttle commander or the pilot of the shuttle. And those are selected from the military. They must complete the uh, test pilot track. And so we created Aviation Challenge to inspire the kids to become those pilots and those commanders. Uh, behind us you're going to see our Mach 1 simulators. These are usually used for kids from 8 to 11. Uh, the kids will come for a week. We will teach them how to fly a F-18 Super Hornet. We'll teach them how to land it, take off, then we will teach them air to air and air to ground. Then once we have completed the air to air and the air to ground training, we will go on to have them do a series of missions. Uh, all while we're also teaching them land survival and water survival. We uh, have a helo dunker that we use to teach them how to get out of a helicopter in case of a helicopter crash. And we have a helo lifter which simulates the lifting out of the water of a crashed pilot who's been crashed at sea.